Rut by the Killers. We're on standard tuning. We've got a capo on our first fret. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you that main chord progression that I played at the beginning. And we're also going to go over another chord progression that's played in the bridge and the outro. So we're going to start out here learning the chords. We have a C, a G, an F, an E, and we also have an A minor chord. Okay, so if you already know how to play those chords, go ahead and skip ahead in the video. Otherwise, I'll be teaching you those. So we're Gonna have our index finger on the first fret of the B. This is for a C chord. Middle finger is gonna be on the second fret of the D. Ring finger is gonna be on the third fret of the A. That's your C chord. If you want to get to an A minor chord, you just slide that ring finger under to your second fret on your G string. There's your A minor chord. For an E chord, we can shift each of these fingers up one string. So your middle is now on the second fret of the A, your ring finger is on the second fret of the D string, and your index is over here on the first fret of the G. So there's your E chord. For our F chord, I'm going to teach you this as a beginner. If you know how to play it as a bar chord, that's great. Index is going to be on the first fret of the B string, middle is on the second fret of the G, ring finger is on the third fret of the A, pinky is on the third fret of the D. That's it. So actually we have a G chord as well. So a G chord, your ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the high E, middle finger is on the third fret of the low E, and your index is on the second fret of the A. Okay, so those are our chords. Now let's talk about the chord progression here. So for the first couple verses and choruses we have this pattern. So that pattern goes like this. We're going to have our C chord, G, C chord, F, C chord, E, F. And the strumming goes like this, C, down, up, down, up, down, on your G, the down is on the G, down, up, down, up, and you go to your F, down. C chord, down, up, down, up, E chord, down, up, down, 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 to your F chord. Okay, one more time. G, F, C chord, E, F, and at full speed, starts out. So there's also this progression in the bridge and that sounds like this. Okay, so we're gonna go on our F chord, down, 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 G, down, 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 A minor seven, down, 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 and then to our C chord. Since I didn't teach you the A minor 7, just do your A minor. So this bridge sounds like this. And that's how the bridge progression goes. Um, and then finally there's an outro where we have this pattern. C, G, A minor, F, and it's a very similar strumming pattern um, to what is played originally. So, if you'd like to figure that out, you can do that on your own, I think. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.